Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the top 5 best camp stoves. Starting at number 5. MSR Whisperlite. The Sabutane is great for cooking fast with a steady flame and comes packaged in convenient canisters. Unfortunately, you can't fly with it, which could be an issue if you're going to some remote area where there isn't a camping store nearby. In this type of situation, the MSR Whisperlite International is a better alternative. Not only can the stove burn white gas, kerosene, or unleaded gas, it's also incredibly robust. This reliability combines with MSR's clever shaker jet design, which prevents the fuel jet from getting clogged by using a needle inside the jet cleaning it out when the stove is shaken. All of this makes the Whisperlite International the go-to choice for big expeditions. With some practice, you'll be able to quickly light the Whisperlite International. Advanced users can regulate the flame enough to simmer water if required. I'll admit that most of my uses have been limited to heating water and making oatmeal and coffee, but more adventurous cooks will be happy with the Whisperlite, especially when the alternative is going stove-less or using a wood or alcohol stove with pitiful heat output. James Stout. For more information and latest price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. At Number 4. Biolite 2. When you're out there in the wilderness, you shouldn't be staring at your phone, you should be looking at the stars, the mountains, or the valleys and such. That said, keeping a charged phone is important for safety and for self is. Keeping a rechargeable flashlight fully powered is always a good idea, and those GoPro camera batteries always seem to need recharging, don't they maintaining battery life in all your devices, while camping means carrying battery packs, using a solar charger, or firing up something you're already likely traveling with. Your stove. The BioLite Camp Stove 2 is a wood-burning stove that has a built-in generator capable of producing 3 watts of electricity, while the fire is hot. That's enough power to charge small devices, illuminate a BioLite lamp, or to charge the unit's internal battery for later use, when the fire isn't burning. Besides providing power, it's also a damn good stove. With a decent fire built up, the BioLite Camp Stove 2 brings a liter of water to boil in less than 5 minutes, and produces plentiful heat for cooking. In fact, there are compact fans inside the burn chamber that you can set at four different speeds to increase or decrease the intensity of the heat. Halfway of my listed number 3. Jet Boil Flash. When I get back from a long day on the trail, I want the most food in the shortest amount of time. This means pouring hot water onto cowskis or a dehydrated meal. If it's the mornings, then it's coffee post-haste. For these moments, I rely on the Jet Boil Flash. Using a cleverly designed pot that's attached to a large burner, it looks like a jet engine the flash can boil 16 ounces of water in less than 2 minutes. It is so fast that the first time I used it, it began boiling over while I was still prepping my meal. This is a product designed with backpackers in mind. The whole thing packs down into the provided pot and even has space for a small fuel canister. Not only does this mean it takes up very little space, but it also makes it hard to lose or forget a part of the stove. If you want to sear, saute, and simmer, the jet boil flash isn't for you. Although there are accessories that will let you use a frying pan, this is really a stove for heating your water fast, which is all most backpackers need. James Stout. Coming in at number 2. Coleman Gas. With camp stoves, it's easy to look at the price and think that's a steal, but you have to also factor in camp stove fuel, which some gas stations and outdoor retailers like to gouge you on. But the best field stove in the world is just a paperweight without fuel, so buy it you will, regardless of the price. With the Coleman Bottle Top Propane Stove, those canisters of propane fuel are surprisingly low priced, you can often get a two-pack of the 16-ounce fuel cylinder for less than 10 bucks. One such tank will burn for two hours at full blast, and as long as eight or nine hours on a low setting. So if you want to make campsite risotto, go for it. Oh, and the stove itself is affordable, too. Flame control is remarkably easy with this stove, just twist that large plastic knob all the way open for a roaring 10,000 BTU output, or dial it back for hours of simmering. And thanks to the deep bowl shape and generous wind baffles, this stove will maintain a consistent burn in all but the most powerful gusts of wind. 
The burner is large and stable enough to accommodate an 8-inch pan or pot, so you really can almost treat it like a standard stovetop. I used one of these stoves for several years and still keep one on hand in case the stove in my house ever has a problem or for some sort of apocalyptic nightmare during which I still wanted to cook pasta. But you'll probably never see me bringing this stove along for another hike or climb. Why? Weight and size. This stove weighs more than 2 pounds, with the canister adding another 3 pounds or more when filled. That's heavier than some tents and sleeping pads combined. So while I highly recommend this stove for car campers or emergency preparedness, it's a poor choice for climbers or trekkers. Stephen John. And number 1. MSR or Pocket Rocket. You shouldn't need to carry an extra piece of gear to make a spark, yet, many camping stoves still rely on matches or a lighter for a flame. One of the best features of the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe is that it has a built-in automatic piezo igniter that's cased in steel for reliability. Despite its small size and weight, the Pocket Rocket Deluxe is no slouch. It can boil a liter of water in less than 4 minutes. The burner is adjustable, so you can lower the heat for a simmer, something that's hard to achieve with a one-setting burner. There's also a built-in pressure regulator to ensure you get reliable and fast cooking until the gas canister is depleted. As long as you place the stove on a level surface, it supports anything from a frying pan to a small cup. Like all lightweight backpacking stoves, the Pocket Rocket Deluxe will only run on self-sealing isobutane fuel canisters. If you're flying to a destination, just pack the Pocket Rocket and stop by a local outdoors retailer after you've arrived to pick one up. I've used this stove extensively, as well as other Pocket Rocket variants. I like the simplicity of the design, and with the deluxe version, I now have the convenience of a push start igniter. The igniter adds an extra 10 grams when compared to the standard Pocket Rocket, but it's totally worth it. What I also like is MSR's warranty. Even after years of abuse, MSR stands by its products and offers extremely economical repair or replacement options. Whether I'm camping in my car or on a complicated through hiking trip, the Pocket Rocket Deluxe's excellent durability and the convenience of the built-in igniter make it one item I now bring along. James Stu. For more information and latest price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below.